Hello again. Um, so next up is another unusual beer, another lager. Um, going with a bit of a trend here this evening. Um, only this one is unusual in that it's brewed with champagne yeast and it is called Castile Cru. It comes in a champagne style, sort of wine style bottle. Um, only it's just a normal cap on the top. Um, sometimes with the champagne yeast beers you get um, champagne cork at the top as well. Um, so yeah, um, as I said, it, it's from Eastern France. Um, it is a lager, um, and apparently it is 5.2%. Uh, so I'm expecting large carbonation from the champagne yeast. I'm also expecting it to be sweeter than most beers, and I'm not expecting much hot bitterness. Um, but it's a style that I'm still sort of growing to learn about and, um, and get familiar with. So without further ado, yeah, so it's a very pale colour. It does smell like it's going to be sweet. That's definitely some sort of sweet maltiness that I can smell. I'm not really sure what it reminds me of, but it um, it is almost slightly reminiscent of champagne. Mm. Mm. The first thing that hits you is the um, that um, carbonation really hits you. It's um, it's like champagne in, it, in its carbonation. Very sweet. Some fruitiness to it. Some mild fruitiness. Mm. Any bitterness is any bit any bitterness that that is there is is very 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 mild. Hmm. It's certainly an interesting one. It's definitely beer, but I actually think the aftertaste is ever so slightly watery. Now maybe it's just me that, that hasn't developed the taste for this kind of beer quite so well yet. Um, but There's, there's barely any aftertaste at all. It, it, it doesn't seem to me to linger. Um, it's pleasant. It makes a nice change. It's very sweet. Um, it's very crisp as well. It's got that lovely crispiness to it. But it's um, not one of my... Um, I, don't, I don't think it's going to become something that I drink an awful lot of. It's um, it's very refreshing actually, um, and if I were to drink it, the time of year I would normally drink this sort of thing. I, I think um, based on sort of the, um, the characteristics of it would be in the summertime. Would be very refreshing on a summer's day. Um, that would be my recommendation um, as of where and when to drink it. Um, but anyway, yeah, interesting beer, Castile Cru. Um, from Eastern France in a region called, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, um, Alsace, uh, which is a east part, which is a region of France on the eastern borders adjacent to Germany and Switzerland. Okay, thanks very much for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.